Hello everyone, Bill Hood here with the Trucking MBA and Velocity Group and I had to put this video out there because I keep seeing all the time these people who come out and say if you want to get your own authority go ahead spend three hundred dollars go to the FMCSA website and you're good to go because you know what these are people that obviously have never ever started a trucking company because anybody who has knows there's a hell of a lot more that goes into starting a company than just going to the FMCSA website. Actually, there's a lot more that has to take place before you go to the FMCSA website. So I wanted to come out and say, and I get it, this is um, self-serving from my standpoint because we have a company that sets up authorities for people. But we really wanted to do something to help people out that are looking to get their own authorities and not to have more and more of those people who come to us that either went and got their authority and had nothing, didn't know anything else, or went and paid somebody to get their authority but never got any of the other things that happened. So what we've done is we've created a very short checklist. I've got it right here. Yes, it's two pages, small type. This is just a very basic checklist of the things you need to do. And we've gone ahead and we've put it on our website so you can go and download it. So if you want to get your own authority, all the information's right here, or at least the information you need to start doing the research. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. I've kicked all the snowflakes out of the room, okay? So you can go right now to the link in the description to the website and download this document if you want, and there's nobody here that's going to get their feelings hurt. All the snowflakes are gone, so you can go ahead and you don't have to sit here and listen to me ramble on. So, okay? So, now, there, like we said, there's so much more that needs to go into it. So if you want to get your own authority, typically what people are saying is, I'm not looking to just, how do I get my USDOT number and MC number? What they're saying is, how do I start a trucking company, right? So here's just a list of some of the things that you need to do when you're going to do that. First thing you want to do is create a budget. Make sure you're going to be able to afford it. Can you afford the insurance? Can't tell you how many people start this up and realize they can't afford the insurance. Talk to a tax professional to find out what type of structure you want. Are you going to be an LLC, corporation, sole proprietor? If you are going to incorporate, you need to make sure that your the name you want is available with your state. And then you also need to make sure that you go into go in and you file for that. You get your FEIN number and then you pull all the information that you have together and then you can go in and you can take a look at and file for your USDOT number and MC number and that's where you pay your $300. But there's a lot more after that so don't just hold on here. Okay so now that we filed this, now the 21 day gun is started. You can't go active for at least 21 days so you got a lot that's going to go on here. So what you need to do is you need to Go and start the insurance quote process. Get your BOC3, KYU, H -U, uh, New York HUT. There's IRP, there's IFTA that you need to take a look at. You need to evaluate whether or not factoring is something you want to do because let me tell you something, there are some pretty big pitfalls in some of these, just the applications, not the contracts, but the applications in factoring you need to be careful of. So you need to look out for that. You gotta make sure you put the decals and get the decals ready for your truck. You gotta file your UCR. I think I said BOC3 earlier, but if not, make sure you file the BOC3. Once you sit there and you figure it out as far as what insurance, you gotta make sure you get the insurance down payment. And you wanna make sure the timing is right when the insurance goes ahead and, and activates it so you're not paying for insurance for a week before your authority is even possibly able to go active or before you're ready to actually start running. You may still be running for somebody else and not want to start on day 22 when you possibly could. And then here's the big one a lot of people forget. You gotta have a driver file, you gotta have a drug consortium, you gotta do a pre-employment drug test, you gotta do background checks, you gotta do your own uh, application on yourself, you gotta put a equipment file and list and everything together. And you know what, there's so many more things that I probably haven't even come up with. The point is, there's a lot that goes into getting your own authority. Make sure you do the research and you educate yourself. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to answer questions. We want people to make sure that they are going to do things correctly. Head on to the link down below. Uh, you can go ahead and download the file. Take a look at it. If we see something missing, reach out to us. Let us know so we can make sure we add that. Thanks for your time.